Oh, Gandalf for sure. Gandalf. Gandalf was getting busy. He even changed his color on y'all, man. Definitely going with Gandalf, man. He fought he fought a Balrog by himself and won. Come on. Easily, easily Marty McFly, man. I wanted to be Marty McFly. Love Kevin McAllister for two films. I love him. But Marty McFly got that third film. You know what I'm saying? Kevin bailed out after two. Oh, okay. Now, this is tough, man. Because uh, I like that Say You Will intro. And I didn't expect to like 808s and Heartbreak, but I did. But Ultra Light Beam got that secret weapon. Chance the Rapper. So I'm going with Ultra Light Beam. Oh, you motherfuckers. This is what we're doing out here. Two, two movies that... I'm going with The Thing. The Thing ruined my goddamn life. And that's one of the best horror movies I've ever seen. Oh, this is easy. I'm not about the Steve Harvey, y'all, with this. The Isley Brothers. The Isley Brothers, man. Come on, man. Come on. The Voyage to Atlantis? Come on. Isley's. Hannibal Lecter or the Joker? Why are these two even going head to head? Uh, I'm going with Hannibal Lecter again, man. Hannibal Lecter! Hannibal Lecter is just a dope-ass villain, man. So is the Joker. Bad Flick of Battinson. They gave Battinson more to do as Batman because he didn't have to share screen time with the Justice League or Superman. So they gave him more to do. So I feel like uh, Batfleck didn't get a fair shake. Like, I really like how uh, Ben Affleck's Batman looked in costume, the way his costume was. Um, his fight scenes within, you know, Batman versus Superman was superior to the Batman. And I like... Ben Affleck better as Bruce Wayne. But I feel like the Batman, he was on his detective shit tough. And, you know, Pattinson was dope. God damn, this is... Even though the Batman with Robert Pattinson was better than any Batman film that Ben Affleck has done, I still feel like... I kind of still like Ben Affleck as Batman and Bruce Wayne a little bit more. Another easy one. Um, X-Men. X-Men has always been my favorite Marvel crew. It's just the underlying themes with the X-Men is just fire. Another easy one, King of Queens, baby. King of Queens is one of my favorite TV comedies of all time. So shout out to Doug, Arthur, Carrie, Deacon. Yeah, King of Queens. Another easy one, The Conjuring. Um... I really like the Warrens in these Conjuring movies. Uh, and I'd be caring about the families. Not that I didn't care about the families in Insidious, but The Conjuring was just premium. Yo, first of all, the way you type the Wayans brothers, the Wayans brother, what the hell is this? <laughs> I'm going with the Wayans brothers, though, but who wrote this? Oh, this is tough. Speaker box of the love below. A lot of people overlook speaker box, man. Let me get back to you on this one. Let me let me dig back in. Gonna have to go with different strokes, baby. What you talking about, Willis? Oh, this is tough. This is a tough one right here. Um, Cause Rocky, man, the way Sylvester Stallone plays Rocky, man. Rocky Balboa is just one of the best characters on film. But outside of the Rocky franchise and like Tango and Cash, maybe, I feel like Arnold Schwarzenegger has better movies. I'm going to go with the movies. So I'm going to go with Schwarzenegger simply based on the better movies. But I feel like Sylvester is probably the stronger actor. Easy one right here, Boys in the Hood. Boys in the Hood, man. Easy. Big Boy or Andre 3000? God damn you, man. I'm going to go with Andre. Andre is in my top five all time. Um, Big Boy is underrated, though, but I got to lean towards Andre. Candyman uh, 92. That's an easy pick for me, but the message in the new Candyman was wild. And I noticed a theme in the movie that was real interesting. But Candyman 92 scared the shit out of me. 
Another easy one, uh, Lord of the Rings. I think Lord of the Rings is probably the best trilogy ever made. So, there's that. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Tough. Ah. This is tough right here, man. Jadakiss is, is top tier, but I might have to go with Styles, personally. Ella Fitzgerald or Etta Jane. I like saying James without the S. James. I'm going to go with Ella Fitzgerald. Excuse me, beep, beep, you beep, you wah. I'm going to go with that good old radio head. Hmm? Oh, we get to the thick of it, huh? Uh, me personally, I'm going with Adam Sandler. Yes, indeed. I'm going to be honest with you. Never seen either one. Never seen either one. But I'm going to just pick Christmas Carol just because I love the story of A Christmas Carol. So however way you flip it, I love that story. Get out or us. Get out. Get out. Sidney Poitier or Denzel Washington. I'm going with Denzel Washington on the strength that I have seen more of his movies. I haven't seen a ton of Sidney movies. So if I take in the whole filmography, we'll see. Come on, man. Avengers. Come on. What kind of easy question is this? Queen or the Rolling Stones? Queen, baby. We are the champions. Oh, this is a good one right here because Spider-Man 2 is excellent. But uh, I'm going to go with that uh, Infinity War. Infinity War. I'm going to go with that. Hell yeah. Man, come on, what kind of question is this, man? Frank! Frank! Lil Nas X of The Weeknd. Uh, I don't listen to either one too heavily, but I'm going to go with The Weeknd. Star Trek or Star Wars? Ah. Years ago, I would have said Star Wars easy, but I will admit the J.J. Abrams Star Trek movies are better to me than the new Star Wars movies. With that being said, overall, I'm going Star Wars, but... If we if we do if we do the Chris Pine Star Trek versus the new and improved Star Wars movies, man, give me that Star Trek. Marvel, baby. Marvel. Quick question. Who is DL Hiley? Who is DL Hiley? But the answer is Cedric the Entertainer. Jaws of Jurassic Park. Mind you, same director. Two iconic ass movies that start with a J. Same director. God damn. Jurassic Park is my answer. Hal Jordan or John Stewart? John Stewart. Come on, man. Easy work. The Godfather. Come on, man. Easy. DJ Premier or Dr. Dre? I'm going with that young primo. DJ Premier. DJ Premier low key might be my favorite producer ever. Maybe. I got to really sit with that. But DJ Premier. Hmm. The Barge or the Jackson? The Barge or the Jackson? I'm going to go with the Jacksons, man. Come on. Ooh, this is tough. The Temptations or the Five Heartbeats? I think The Temptations is probably the better movie. But since they had more time to really sit in it, I watched The Five Heartbeats more. So I'll go with The Five Heartbeats. Who's the funnier Wayans brother? Damon Wayans Sr. He is my favorite Wayans of all time. No disrespect to the rest of the family, man. They my friends. Oh, this is tough. Michael Jackson and Prince. God damn it, this is tough. This is tough. I'm going with uh, the guy from Minneapolis, Prince. Gaga or Madonna, God. Damn, I love Lady Gaga. I love Lady Gaga. Lady Gaga is a better actress. But I'm going to go with goddamn Madonna, man. That goddamn track record. Kanye or Common? Me, myself, personally, Common. Rashid Lonnie Lynn. Common for show. Superman or Goku? I'm going to go with Goku, man. Superman is just... I mean, they both overpowered, but Superman is just, he ain't really bringing a lot to the table, personality-wise. 
Now, I've never seen either of these movies. I used to put on Three Ninjas for the Baker Boys just to, they can watch that as they go to sleep, just to get them out of my hair. Uh, but I remember Surf Ninjas. I never bothered watching it. I'm going to go with Surf Ninjas. Ooh, Slum Village or Little Brother? God damn, this is tough. God damn. Ah. Ah. Uh, mm, piss. Slum you know what now? Nah, little brother. Little brother. Ah, Slum Village. Little brother. You know what? How about Slum Little or Village Brother? I'm going to go with Lil Brother because we got those two albums where the group was at a whole instead of just the one with the whole Slum Village. Come on, man. Bats. Bats. Easy. Oh, this is tough. God damn, this is tough. I love Juice. Love the soundtrack. Love the, the first half. But Fresh is an amazingly made film top to bottom. I'm going to go Fresh. Magic or Mr. Morale and the, and the Steppers? Uh, I don't know. Mr. Morale and the Steppers just came out. Give me a second. Let me catch my breath on this one. So I'm not going to answer just yet. But uh, yeah. In living color. In living color for sure. Easily. Okay. Terminator or Terminator 2. Got to go with Terminator 2, baby. One of the best films I've ever seen. Harley Quinn or Catwoman. Catwoman. Jungle Brothers are brand Nubian. Gotta go with that brand Nubian, baby. So Lois and Clark or Smallville? I'm gonna go with Smallville. Oh, you motherfuckers. You dusty son of a bitch. Whoever asked this, you grimy piss. I'm gonna go with Tribe. This question is so easy. Lord of the Rings, man. The Hobbit was just stretched too thin. Britney Spears or Christina Aguilera, man. Christina Aguilera, easily. There is not a single Britney Spears song that I've ever heard that I've liked. Straight up. In sync of the Backstreet Boys. Now earlier I would have said in sync, like year if you asked me years ago, but I feel like the Backstreet Boys, I want it that way, is a better song than anything in sync has ever done. The Locks of Slaughterhouse. I'm going with L-O-X, the locks, and more cohesive, they sticking together, the locks, easy work. Dr. Dre or Timberland, I'm going Dr. Dre. Meg or Doja, even though Doja's annoying, and I still remember that racist shit she did with them, them the white dudes or whatever, but uh, I like Doja's music better, easily, easily. I'm definitely going Naughty by Nature, man. Tretch is an underrated MC, man. Naughty by Nature. Not because I hate you. Oh, I remember that Bionic Man music. But I, I used to love the Fall Guy, man. That was my shit. Fall Guy. Easily Lauren Hill. Lauren Hill. Easy work. If this world were mine, I would lay at your feet. All that I own. Come on, man. Luther. Street Fighter or Mortal Kombat? Are we talking about the movies or the game? If we talking about the movies, Mortal Kombat. If we talking about the game, Street Fighter. But actually, no, now it would be Mortal Kombat because the Mortal Kombat current games are better. 